Simple, well, Simple tried to do the best that he could last game. But uh, it wasn't enough. It wasn't enough. Him and Boomich both, in fact, you know, did a lot of work. But we're going to get right into the thick of things here. Yes, we are. Shiro opening up with a kill. They're trying to run him down. That's a big double for him to be picking up. Just so he had no backup there at all and still managed to make it work. And suddenly it's a two on three. Navi doing their best to fight their way back. They do have a P250 picked up on Simple. I think that's the main threat. And now it's a two on two. The bomb, though, is kind of weirdly on the sidewalk. And they got to be careful here on the Gambit side. They do have a smoke and a kit so they could try and see if they could play for that a little bit while they're sniping away and not really hitting Navi at the moment. They're going to find Electronic. That's good news. So now it's simple. One versus two. You might want to keep going, my dude. I'm having to re-log again. Well, fair enough. We'll do that. Bomb is going to be planted, and they're right on top of him. In fact, he's going to just barely make it back. No, he won't. Then Terse will take him down. It looked like he was about to escape uh, around the bomb train itself, but decided to go a slightly longer route. So good call. I mean, um, Nefani and Inters, both of them uh, managing to stay together and not get lost in the middle of all of that. They didn't split up at all. And I mean, with the start from Shiro getting those two kills, things are just looking real good. So... Impressive stuff coming out here in uh, in the first round for Gambit Young. So that's the best start they could have hoped for, I think. Agreed. I mean, you get that pistol start. You manage to keep that pressure going on Navi. You don't let Navi, despite Electronic's best efforts in that pistol with three kills, you know, you don't let Navi get the strong start here on the second map and start getting some confidence back. No, you keep the boot on the neck. You don't let up. You keep that pressure on and you do not let them get back into this if you're Gambit right now because it's all about getting the job done here in two maps for Gambit. I think if I think if this goes to a third map, it's going to get real dicey for Gambit and they're going to have a lot of trouble closing the door on Navi. Yeah, that has to be bad news, right? If it uh, if it goes to a third one, they uh they could be in trouble. I mean, who knows uh on on the but on the, that's two maps still. It's uh it's scary, and you know, also with the way that Navi, you could imagine uh, more of their players might end up getting warmed up. Boomich and Simple were doing a lot of work on the first map, but you know, Flamey had gone missing for some parts of it, and we all know what happens if it's Simple and Electronic. They do have that combo that could do a lot of work, so. You want to be real careful about letting this go on for too long in the beginning. Uh, but I mean, they, they have the beginning they want right now. The bomb plot will allow Navi to pick up the two AKs and a, a couple of more things along the way. So should be a, a decent chance here that they could uh, do some damage, Navi, which uh, it's another thing. I guess they didn't manage to do so much on over, overpass when they when they lost rounds, Navi. It was Gambit Youngsters, especially at the beginning of the second half, just staying alive with everyone pretty much. Oh, did Simple realize that there's somebody holding close? I think he did. Uh, it's uh, going to get nice as Electronic is able to push out through Ivy. Yep, Simple gets caught in the end. Was that a body shot on Supra? I think he just tagged his teammate there. <laughs> whatever uh, it takes. Whatever it takes, right? Necessary sacrifices must be made, Anders, uh, including handing over an AK to Inters. So this is very tough indeed here for Na'Vi. And look at Gambit getting aggressive. That's going to open things up now. Shiro gets blocked on the side of the head. No way for him to know that Nefani is here, and he is not going to expect the third man in Ivy. What is this clown fiesta of a map? I don't know. Why did Flamey run out of time? Is he, what is he doing? Saving the tech line, but then not like getting the loss bonus? The math doesn't even make any sense. I am just so confused. Well... I think Tech nine plus far. armor plus grenades, but he lost out on like th three thousand or two thousand four hundred or something like that. That's so confusing. Oh, I don't even. That is a bit of a problem because uh, I mean the rest of them can't buy either, but there's, there's just no reason. That's the kind of mistake you don't want to see. He could have just as well, I think, you know, just fought to to run and and do a little bit more. Regardless, we're going to be in the third round. And this should be an easy pickup, unless it turns out that Tech Nine and Armor is somehow worth way more than I thought. Listen, I I I don't discount Deegs anymore, dude. I'm just waiting for the one Deegs. Yeah. Like, oh, whoa, what? What? That looked like Simple had him dead to rights. I was about that was gonna be perfect timing, Anders. He ruined it. Oh, yeah, I thought that too. Oh, and by the way, because I'm reading Twitch chat, uh, you know. A detriment to my own health. People are saying uh, if we could up the game sound a little bit. Now we're not in control of that, but uh, but someone will listen to that, I'm sure, and try and figure it out. Thanks, okay. guys. Okay. Thanks for we'll that. Get, 
Yeah, we'll take all the feedback we can. Um, hope you guys are doing well in the Twitch chat and just enjoying yourselves. We'll uh, we'll get into the swing of things here with uh, with all of the, the tech stuff, but um, I like this. I like this time time traveling Counter Strike that we've got going on. Um, Exile will be going down to Perfecto, and speaking of Perfecto, he's just picked up another kill on a on Fanny, so that's a three on three, and it shouldn't have been at all. Oh, there's the tech line from Flamey. I may have to eat my words here. Maybe the tech line was genius, and they can make it work. He's going to go down to Supra, though, and now it's Perfecto having to try and solve this whole thing on his own, and he almost takes down Supra, but not quite. Almost it doesn't count at all, does it? Yeesh, Anders. Yeesh. That's all I got to say about that round. That's just nasty. What's going on? Am I hearing voices? What the hell's going on here? I'm hearing voices as well. Don't worry about it. Okay, yeah, good. I think. I, well, I, think I mean, just... I don't know if that is a good thing, actually, Anders, <clears throat> considering the state of uh, the two of us. But uh... I was going to say, all that would really prove is that we're both crazy. Which... <laughs> <laughs> we knew it all along. <laughs> There were, there were early signs, weren't there? You know, in a bunch of ways. Yeah, well, uh, three and oh, regardless of the voices or not, and who they belong to, it will be a three and O lead in favor of Gambit. So that's exciting. Um, I think there was a, a little bit of a, of a tech issue that they're sorting out, but then uh, not on the, on the broadcasting side, but in the actual server, which that can happen. Yeah, it looks like uh, we're going to get this Squared away momentarily here. Yep. Have you found a way, Samlo, to get Twitch chat up as well? I feel like you're missing out. <clears throat> I need to get Twitch chat up. No, I haven't had... Like, you know what? But it, there's going to be a delay, though, so that's the thing. There's a massive delay, so don't be looking at it or you'll be casting from the wrong feed, and that's not a good idea, but you know, every once in a while... I'm seeing uh, seeing people saying Navi is a tier 2 team. Some harsh criticism, I'm not going to lie, but... Um, I mean, but maybe... Yeah. Maybe if they can't win this game, maybe we'll have to downgrade them. Well, I mean, we got to see Blast Premier, Na'Vi, and they were wildly inconsistent. Like one game, they look like they can dominate the world, and the next game, it looks like they're they're playing Pug CS on, you know, on a Pug service. Like I don't, I don't really get where Na'Vi are in their heads right now. It's really frustrating watching them play because you know there's yeah. the talent on the team, and yet they aren't I actually capable. Can... I actually completely agree. Like frustration is the exactly the feeling that I'm feeling whenever I see Navi half the time, and the other half is amazing. And I just, I, I, you know, I'm, I'm blown away by it. But, um, yeah. but yeah, they they do have those weird moments. But the other half, you're loving life. You're like, Psh, this is great. They've got the winning formula, simple electronic yeah. banging heads. Everybody else following suit. I mean, it, it always feels like they have the tools. It's just that sometimes I don't know. They're hitting themselves on the heads with the tools. And well, there's electronic. There's a double peek gonna come through. Simple gets overwhelmed. One for one trade. They'll take that any day. Still a man advantage on the DT side for Gambit going on to this A site for Navi. And well, Gambit just looking to extend that lead four to zero. Let's see if they can do it. Yeah, it's only 20 seconds, so I don't even know how this could be done. Again, it's a classic Navi type scenario where if anything goes wrong, if you if you miss the ball out here, you're dead. It's 14 seconds as they swing to take the fight at Ivy, and that's around done. There's just nothing that Flamey could do at all. So uh real confusing you you can't you the, i understand the plan that at 20 seconds is if everything goes right like down to the last second then you can still win but you know you, you things never go right not not all the way through well, i'm kind of glad that they didn't hunt him too aggressively considering the state of their money right now gambit i mean let flamey get away with an ak whatever you know it's gonna be a buy round in the next one anyway from navi because they've lost four in a row, you know, like, they, there is going to be some money here for Na'Vi. Ooh! Restraint on the side of Na'Vi. Okay. So they do not go for a full buy, they go for a half buy with pistols and nades instead. Okay, yeah. so Na'Vi really banking on having a big buy round in the sixth. Interesting. I think that makes a, a fair amount of sense. Uh, you know, they had Flamey with one hero AK that he saved from the previous round. Maybe you just keep that. Maybe you just try and, you know, get get him to do a little bit. Uh, get Flamey warmed up. He's He's been having a bit of a weird couple of... Uh, or the first map was weird for him. Second map, too early to tell. I mean, no one outside of Electronic is really doing anything on this Navi side yet. So, can't just single out Flamey and blame him, can we? Sure we can. Well, the Twitch, the Twitch chat is, so you're, <laughs> they're on your side somewhere. Uh, you can always blame. Now, whether right. it's a good thing or not. <laughs> right. You have permission 
from Semla? Uh, you know, it's a tough one. And Flamey, you know, the hero AK, he got bopped with the nade early, so he's down on uh, life. I almost wish he would just hand the AK over to somebody with full HP at this point. Trade it for a deagle or something, but uh, that's not what we're seeing just yet. It's looking like it's going to be the A hit coming in here from Navi in just a moment. Inters is doing the best he can. Because in a moment, they're going to come through. There's the flash. Timing was not perfect, though. He's a second too late. Electronic overwhelms the first. There's going to be a lineup, though. Huge opportunity. And yes, Nefani steps in and gets the job done. And Flamey, in spite of being the first one out in that fight, is now the last one left in a one versus three. They didn't just get the kill there. Taking down a Fanny. Good shot on Supra. This is pretty impressive now. Just needs that single bullet. High landing on Shiro, who's smartly waiting. There's only 10 seconds. He knows if Flamey fakes this, then he's going to run out of time. And if he doesn't, maybe he could just run him down. There's the chance. And I think he's run out of time. He has to go and fight him. And he knows he can't. Oh, no. That's so brutal. <laughs> Shiro absolutely outplaying Flamey. I'm loving Shiro more and more. The more I get to see this guy play, he dominated on overpass. Nothing but smart plays from him on overpass. Really wise player. You yeah. know, considering I'm just loving watching this guy play. He just gamed Flamey so hard there. Flamey just got owned. <laughs> he, he did. Man, that was great. Maybe maybe Tom is onto something uh, when, he, when he was shaking his head at my Na'Vi prediction. Maybe he's got... Uh, Got some inside information. He does spend a lot more time in the CIS region than I do. So I wouldn't be surprised if he's more knowledgeable uh, than I am at the moment. But yeah, what a great start, Gambit Youngsters. 5-0. and oh. I think it's you, you want to say that Navi are going to be favored just because they're playing on the international scene. But there were illusion, uh, illusions made to that, uh, I think, by Pimp coming into this, where it's much more. there's more of an explosive style possible, a little bit more chaotic in the CIS scene and, say, like the Tier 2, Tier 1.5 um, kind of CIS scene that uh, Navi are maybe used to playing the Europeans and the North Americans right now, one brand of CS, and they kind of have to play a different brand of CS when they're playing against the CIS teams, and well, there you go, Shiro, Brown Halls, boom, takes down Flamey and man advantage for Gambit. So maybe Navi are having trouble adjusting here to uh, to the different styles. There could be something like that. It's, it's just very hard to know, isn't it? Um... I mean, I think playing in the region, you think that maybe they would at least scrim these guys every once in a while, like they'd have a bit of a sense of it. Uh, but yeah, could be just a change of pace that Navi aren't ready for. Super going to be picking up the first kill here, taking down Boomage, and they also lost Flamey early on. So this is the, remember, they had the half buy in the last round with the AK-47. So this is what Navi have been saving for to get here, and they're getting destroyed in this round somehow. This is uh, absolutely dominant for the defense. Boomish decided to push with the bomb, and that's pretty much screwed the round. That bomb is still out in the open in the middle of no man's land. Oh my goodness, Electronic gets caught by Inters. Nothing, nothing is breaking Navi's way right now. They just cannot catch a break. Let's see here. Simple. Brown Hulse, is he looking away? No, okay, he's, he's so wise. Simple. He's using the boxes to cover his angle, to cover his blind spot there. But he hears Nefeni. He knows that there's going to be somebody here, and yep, spots him, guns him. But he's off. He's in a 1v4, and it's not going to be for long. 6-0 start on the CT side for Gambit right now. This is an excellent performance for them. I am so impressed right now with this team. Yeah, I think this is the this is the great takeaway. Um, we can we can switch our time some half and half. Uh, you know, wrecking Navi, and the other half spent just enjoying the fact that Gambit youngsters are putting on a really great show. <laughs> I'm down. Okay, I can get on board with this plan. Do a little bit right. of both. Do a little bit of both. Why not? You know, variety is the spice of life. So, uh, I mean, true not, indeed. Man, what do you what do you do if you're Navi right now? You go for another half by Tech Nine, run and gun. I could, I mean, just Yolo Brown Halls, lower ramp, just run it with Tech Nines. I would have, I would respect that call. Yeah. Well, you've got Tech Nines. You ha you have to run and shoot that at the same time. It's in the contract when you buy the weapon. So, let's see what happens. Let's see. No, it's not going to be Brown Hall set up. It's looking like a pinch onto A instead. Okay, well, as, as long as they keep running and shooting, I'm fine wherever they go. Just th th those are the two the two main features here. Look, perfect. He's standing still. Like, he doesn't know how this works. Run and then shoot at the same time. It's not really that hard. Here we go, Perfecto. Getting the kill on Inters. And that was running and shooting, so 
You know, it's already been proven here. They've taken a lot of damage, though. Boomich has made his way out past the smoke and is waiting for an opportunity that I'm not sure he'll ever get right now. Maybe just blast through it is the better option. He's going to be going down, and that leaves Siddick trying to get a one versus three. So very, very tough for him to win here, and he walks right into the orb of Axel. So that will be a seventh round, seven and zero in favor of Gambit. Oh, God. Yeah, and they save both AWPs and an AK. Man, if Electronic can just get one more kill in that situation, I'm thinking that's a solid enough round for Navi because they're going to buy this round regardless. Yeah. I mean, a bomb plant would have helped to get that AWP rolling for simple, but he's lethal with an AK anyway, so it's not like he's just, you know, ride or die op. But uh, the fact that Gambit gets a hold onto their double op and have money, I mean, their money isn't out of control yet, but uh, they have the double AWP AK. I mean, it's it's a really solid setup right now for Gambit, but we're getting, again, the, the aggression coming out here from Perfecto. Just charging into the yard. Inter's hanging out very close by. Have to be careful yep. not to lose it. And there's Inter's getting caught. Yep. And I think Nefani wanted to try Zivig refract that. Nice shot through the smoke. Axel will take down Perfecto. And Flamey shooting somebody there. I think that was Supra in the knees. It's finally a bomb plant for Na'Vi. And that is the second bomb plant they have had. Of three of the rounds, they've run out of time. Shiro was going to be going down. Flavi covering this so nicely, and I don't think this retake's possible any longer. Just save what you got and make it into the next round. But second bomb plant, Semla, in eight rounds, and three out of eight, they've simply let the time run down. I mean, some of the time, maybe that was reasonable, but that's still a very, very slow start for Na'Vi. This is the rockiest of starts. Kind of want to see both of them just back off here on the CC side and... We'll see if Super survives this. Flamey, no reason for him to move. Gonna take damage, but uh, it's looking like Boomich, he was on the hunt. Is he gonna find him? Whoa, that was so close. Okay. So, we have both guns saved for Gambit, but we lose an off in that exchange. So, gotta, gotta, I like that Navi have just decided to ramp up the aggression, though. You gotta get in there and start fighting. Perfecto showing some real bravery there, just charging the yard like that and opening it up, creating some space for his teammates. Curious to see if Navi are gonna try to maintain this tempo. I mean, it's it's gonna be more tricky probably until they can reset the Gambit economy just because of the early grenades. But I agree, I mean, if, if the slow wait till there's 20 seconds left type strat isn't working, then maybe give it a rest for a round or two. Hmm. Looking like another A hit. There's the mob. Oh, really? Those are the smoke. Interesting. Dangerous, that mechanic. Yeah, okay. It's that HE on Nefani, so that's a tough one for him. But it is still looking like smokes to the outside. Minute on the clock. Everybody in position and just YOLO. Let's see it. Boom, is going to charge him. Nefani, is he ready? Oh, buddy, right there beneath him. He's going to get traded, but that's fine because Inters is here. Oh, that stack up for Inters. Electronic and Perfecto survived. That was a golden opportunity. What an unfortunate turn of events for Gambit. Yeah, that looked like it was going to be a straight double spray down. Now, Flamey's made his way close to the side, and that's good news. This has got 40 seconds. The bomb, though, is dropped back by that E-Box train. Simple's going to be taking down Axel, and now, yeah, they're just slowly but surely whittling them away, finding every single one except for Shiro, who's got a little bit of a response, but he's pinned down behind here. He's getting shot from the top of the train, and on the other side, Simple's waiting for him. If he swings that way, he's dead. If he goes here, oh, nice shot! Right through the train, 17 seconds. He knows Simple's out there. Shiro, he almost gets it. That is really, really close. What a nice attempt. That's almost a one on three, one by Shiro. I mean, not every clutch is going to go your way, right? And bold, bold of him to try to take the duel with Simple at the end. I thought that he would try and play the bomb and try and force Simple to come to him in the bomb site because he knows he has to go there eventually. But uh, decides to take the fight and it doesn't go his way. So Gambit. They're allowing Na'Vi a foothold here. They're allowing Na'Vi a way back into this first half. They had the chokehold applied on Na'Vi, but there's just too much fight in Na'Vi. They're not going down. Two rounds on the board now for Na'Vi. T-side, seven rounds on the board for Gambit. And that, again, quick yard take versus this hard eco from Gambit. Na'Vi, it looks like they figured it out. No anti-rush nades. So it's looking like a very, well, quick round here. Yeah, there's Shiro. Getting, getting some revenge for last round.
Yeah, it's trying to get a little bit more to say. That's fine. I mean, but so far, ultimately, it's it's at least Navi waking up. I think that's that's the way to put it here. Seven to three. They're on the T side of train. If they could get another two rounds in here, then you know, at least at least they're not going to get completely knocked out. But still, Let's see if Gambit youngsters have what it takes to. Yeah, get things going a little bit once again, huh? Losing a couple of rounds in a row. Three in a row, in fact, obviously. So maybe they could do a bit more. Got that all back on Shiro. Makes you wonder. With Brown Hall's no aggression, though. Super holding close, but uh, he's not pushing. So we will have the standoff over there on that side, but some map control gained for Navi. And in the meantime, big opportunity. Oh, there's the peak. Spotted the gun barrel. Electronic pushes through. Do you have any way of knowing this? Oh, I'm surprised at Exile not checking. Yeah, a bit dangerous. Shiro there with the AWP, but the smoke is making it very hard for him to see what's going on. And they take down the Fanny as well. Intel's trying to fight his way back, but he walked right into the orb of Simple. And yeah, he's just holding this with the AK-47, which I think is another bad idea. Electronic, he's, he knows that's one of the one of the dangers there, just being held back. And they're going to go plant the bomb, no problem. So. Good little swing back into this game for Na'Vi. Uh, better, better late than never is what we said in the last map, and I think it's uh, it's still true here for Na'Vi. If they can keep going like this, it's actually going to become a pretty decent first half. Oh, without a doubt, they've got a real opportunity. And I think right now we're seeing some unforced errors coming out from Gambit. So maybe some nerves uh, are just starting to get get to them a little bit here on the side of Gambit that they're starting to make some errors like this. But, uh, you know, it's still early days in the half, but now Na'Vi, I mean, it was looking like Gambit were just going to close Na'Vi out. And Na'Vi are fixing to get four rounds on the board T-side train. They're going to have some room to, to work with now, Anders, especially because the money isn't looking so hot for Gambit. So I'm a little surprised at Gambit, but maybe uh, they just decided that they needed to try and make some plays. And uh, sometimes that's just the way it goes. Perfecto with that skeleton knife. <laughs> Chat is so good. I've I really have lost track with the whole skins markets. I don't even know what what the new news knives anything are like. I just I can't Sam, I just can't do it. It's it was a big part of my life for a while, as you'd no doubt uh, know. But um, oh, I remember. But, you know, <laughs> just, you know <laughs> I've grown up since moved all my attention into in the stock trading, which is even much worse than the skin market. Infinitely I was about to say. Worse. But uh, you know. I don't know. Maybe it'll be better one day. Well, Listen, I'll, it's I'll... just, you know, big boy gambling. That's that's what you're doing now, I suppose. That's, that's what it feels like. I won't Ooh. even lie. <laughs> Ooh, Inter's timing is uh, everything. And he just took down an electronic who's looking the wrong way. So, interesting first kill. They got it for Mars. They got that AWP still in play. They could do something in this round. Especially if Navi, you know, behind that early kill, if Navi decide to slow it down, which they like to do. Hmm. And we got the hero AWP. I don't know. It's in the hands of Shiro. Let's see. Boomich just spotting. Seeing if there was any aggression coming. Ivy didn't look like it. And enters on uh, on the site itself. He's just waiting. So this is uh, this is going to be an interesting development here because now Navi kind of have to do more with less. They'll have the solo man kind of uh, hanging out around Ivy. That's Boomich, but uh, that's also, I mean, he does not have a free entry there. Four players on the A site. And a lot of this is coming from Nefani with this push into Brown Hall. So much information gained. 40 yeah. seconds on the clock. And him being up here is just allowing Gambit to gamble on that A site. I mean, I know 40 seconds is a long time in Navi time, but come on, guys. This is still a little bit wild. Perfecto is making his way out main with the bomb at 25 seconds. Inter is still hiding out here. If he gets the kill, it's done. This round is probably over. Nice jump pass from Perfecto. That's going to help out a little bit. Axel trying to see if he can do something there. Now there's 14 seconds and they're going to go for a bomb. I don't think he could swing to get the kill with the USP from out there. So it's a nice attempt. It's a good try there for Gambit, but they're not going to be able to find a way through here. They're just too low on health for the USPs, but that's still so dangerous for Na'Vi. If Perfecto had gone down to that P250, that could have been all over. Oof. Yeah, and it is looking really rough now for Gambit. The state of the economy here is excellent for Navi. Real strong. They're going to get so much money this round. They've got a big buffer now for the rest of this half. Whereas Gambit, they really needed to keep a couple of those guns alive and just try to save them going into the next one. Because now it's like saving USPs. Who cares? 
Um, but you needed to save that AWP. That would have been a huge win. Yeah. I mean, Max lost. Not quite, but you're there. You're getting there. You are getting there. It's been five in a row for uh, for Man, Navi, I guess. Five in a row. Yeah, so oh. I guess it is Max. I, I lost count as well, but um, it's five in a row with Boomich still on one kill. So something to even look up for, maybe double up though, or uh, for Gambit. It's a good thing that uh, Boom. You know, it's it's there is so much depth of talent on Navi because it's Boomich who's on one kill. Now it's Electronic who's leading the way, thirteen, and Perfecto's up there with ten, double digits. So, I mean, Navi, they're looking for a fight, and on the inner side, it was a very quick peek there. Looked like Simple trying to make some kind of play, but it didn't quite pan out. The, ooh, nice job. That was, uh, that was the path for the kill for Axile, if you know what I mean. Path of Axile? No? Yeah. Oh, I got you, dude. All right. <laughs> the new season just came out too, right? I know it did. Uh, I wish I had more more hours in the day. Uh, maybe, maybe two kids less as well. So I'm not, you know, <laughs> I haven't tried it yet. I might. I might give it a shot. Supra and Shiro are hiding inside of the B bomb side, and backup is really far away. And they're going to be faced with what looks like the rest of Navi here. All five members, one good grenade. I mean, actually, they could probably block off Shiro from seeing much of anything in this push. So there's a couple of smoke, good smokes on him, and it's going to be trouble. Oh, Simple's going to go for the blue, isn't he? Yep. Oh. And uh, well, Perfecto goes diving down onto the site to his death. Super ready and waiting, and this is just not going to pan out for Navi. Two players alive for Navi. Spotted on the lower. That's going to be Super finding his second kill. And now, well, uh, Boomage. Nicely done. Finds Supra. Can he work his way through Connector here? There's two players wet, ready and waiting for him, though. He's going to get the spot. And whoa, what a shot from Shiro. Patient. Didn't rush it. Took his time, lined it up, and got the job done. Eight rounds on the board now for Gambit. Wow, that was actually uh actually not bad at all i'm a little bit surprised here i mean i guess simple just wanted to be the the entry fragger on that bomb site but they had so many grenades i thought for sure they'd just try and smoke their way in to get the bomb plant and mm -hmm. they picked another way so fair play interesting uh interesting choice quick smokes to the outside now though and well let's see is it going to be a change of pace here from navi once again Enough in the shenanigans, straight on out. Boomich, oh, Inters doesn't force it. He's gonna catch Boomich! Oof, way too close. Uh, really almost let go of that. Nefani gonna be taken down, perfecto. Good uh, Molotov there to block off Electronic, who I think was certainly gonna be coming for him no matter what. So three versus four, and three of them are outside at the moment, uh, fighting Na'Vi. Supra not quite making his way over yet, but he's a couple of steps away. And then they'll have a full uh, defense out here, which should be interesting. They will, and they'll have a flank as well, because Nefani has now worked his way out. He's heading towards spawn, or the main entrance to A here from the T side. So this is going to get real interesting. They're about to get boxed in, Navi. Attacked on all four sides. And well, we're about to find out how that goes, because uh, Supra is going to get that molly on the side as well. Just buying even a little bit more time here, delaying that bomb plant further, forcing Electronic to dance. And there's hey. Nefani with the flank on Flamey. They know what's going on now, Navi. They are stuck. Have to go for the bomb plant. 40 seconds left, and both kills come through uh, simultaneously for Gambit. At least Navi get a bomb plant. That is very big success for them, actually. Bonus 800 is going to make a big difference for Boomage and Simple. Yeah, that's a that's a pretty good bomb plant. But I mean, it's a little bit of a shame, right? Because Flamey was actually looking for that flank, and still he wasn't quite able to uh, to win that fight. If he had, it would have been would have been a, a little bit more fun to see. So, um, still, 9 to 5, 15th round is coming up. If Gambit Youngsters could end with a three round streak here and, and make it 10 to 5, it's still a pretty good first half for them. I, I think they're doing a good job. I think that, yeah, this is a remarkable job from them, considering they're up against Navi. I mean, you would expect Navi to be, you know, I mean, in the lead almost right now, if you're thinking about it. I mean, fourth best team in the world, or at least according to HLTV, those are how the rankings stand right now. Um, you do expect Navi to be the heavily favored team right now, but uh, yes. it's not playing like that. It's to me, it's like watching Gambit play. They feel like the veterans. It's crazy. Twitch chat has come up with the name Defecto for Perfecto whenever he does anything <laughs> badly, which I think, guys, that's just 
That's just cruel. Oh, look at Super. He wants to push in and fight Flamey, but Flamey was ready for it. That is a great pickoff. Nicely handled. And that's going to give them a really big shot now. I think if Navi were ready with the bomb out here, maybe they could just go quickly, but they're not quite there. Still two inside, though, for Gambit on this defense. Shiro and Inters setting up. Smokes are coming through for Navi. 45 seconds on the clock. Push is about to begin. Bowman has got that nade. Tremendous amount of damage dealt to him. And that volley. Throwing a wrench things, but here he goes. Behind the flash from his teammate. Inters gets spotted. This is perfect for Navi. They are just steamrolling this defense. One kill after another. That can't have been an easy shot for Flamey coming out of the smoke, but he made it look uh, like it was, so I suppose that's a uh, good uh, round out of him here. Saving the first, uh, or not getting killed the first time around, and then entering onto the site. Exile, hoping... Oh, that's an amazing flick. That's well done. He's probably still going to lose this round just because of the time that's left here, but um, he's doing his very best in the 15th round to try and get just one more on the board, and there's Perfecto finding him at the end. So nine... It's a six at the end of it in favor of Gambit youngsters. It's still, I mean, I'm still pretty impressed by it, but I think six rounds is, is should be enough for Navi. I'm going to stick to my prediction here. I think Navi've got this. Oh, you say you think Navi have got this? You think they're going to run it back here in the second half? Okay. Yeah, I don't even feel good saying it. I just, you know. You feel a little dirty? I do. I feel like it's not quite right, but what can you do? <laughs> it's a question. I mean, it's a question right now because... Uh, I don't know, watching Gambit, they, they, they didn't quite get double digits. I thought that they definitely could have. They had a couple rounds there, including that last one. But uh, right now, it's going to be the gather up and run, looking like they want to hit the inner site together as five. And they've got a raid boss set up on uh, Shiro. So P250, Kevlar, ready for a bit of the run and gun. Simple holding close with the CZ. He's going to peek. Spots out two. Good information gained. Quick rotation coming in from Electronic at Connector. Now trying to bolster that defense on this B site. And this is it. The execute cometh. Yes, it will. Couple of flashbangs. One would be doing that much. Still pretty good vision here for Navi to try and hold it back. Nice think on to Perfecto. That's going to soften him up a little bit. And there's the opening. Shiro will get one. And Simple's very low on health. Trying to stay alive back here. But it's not going to happen. Second kill for Shiro. And he's been leading the charge. He's got the P250. He's got plenty of health. And now he just put the bomb down. And look at how they're pushed up. Ready to fight Navi a little bit uh, early on. And not letting them get to the actual bomb part here. It's a good idea. Electronic swings for it. And that needed to be an instant headshot. Another kill for Shiro. Make it a quick triple for him. And that is surely going to do it here. Nothing that Flamey could do, I think, to bring this round back in for his uh, team. So, yeah, strong start for Gambit Youngsters at the beginning of the second half. Blame me. Yeah, just, I mean, just looking for pickoffs at this point in time. This is tremendous. 10 0 versus, or 10 0, 10 6 versus Navi, but I mean, it feels like 10 0. I mean, that was as good as it gets in a pistol round. Super clean, pushing it together, pushing aggressively to take space away from the CT side, all the way up to connector, exactly as you should on the T side. And so you're forcing Navi to fight every step of the way to try and get close to that bomb with all those angles they have to worry about. Nightmare fuel. That was really, really well done by Gambit. Clean work. I'm so impressed with this team. And now Navi, well, it's the force buy. Just desperation buy coming through here, hoping that they can uh, they can put a stop to this. They need to slow Gambit down. Hmm. They do need to do that. I mean, if they can win the second round, right, that would be that would be a nice turnaround moment for Navi. If they don't, and, if, and they have to sort of wait until the fourth round, that's a long ways away. That'll be 12 to 6 by the time they could start to put up a, a bit more of a fight. So they're definitely, definitely hitting a bit of a stumbling block here if they can't turn this around in their favor. And they're not doing a, a lot to sort of swell. They've got the scouts, fair enough, but they're still mostly with Electronic is pushing into main. And that's, that's like the most advanced position that we're seeing right now. Oh, two holding in, or yep. And you're going to have Simple rotating over. Gets that body shot on a super a wall bang. Annoying. Perfecto looking to follow it up. And man, that's the combo. Oldest sin. Body shot with the scout. Finish it with the deagle. And a man advantage for Navi. Still. And this is a big push. Wait, is this team main that's been invaded? Yes. Okay. So electronic. A lot of information gained from him because he's going to hear that rotation coming in from Nefani. 
Yeah, they. Yeah, I was gonna say he definitely hurt. He's now we see him. People running thirty seconds. That they should know. Boomerch and Electronic though, still a great combo here. They're not checking the corner, and that is actually really careless. If you run, you know that there's gotta be people hearing it. You could guess that they would have set something up. They're trying to fight their way, but there's only eighteen seconds left, and they're getting. They have to go back into main to get the bomb. It's not gonna be doable here. They do let go of the second round, then in a slightly silly fashion, I would say. Didn't really need to be... Well, maybe they needed to run, but if you run, then you, you've, you've committed yourself to checking all the corners, so... Not quite good enough. That kind of a giveaway can come back to haunt them. We'll find out if that's what Navi needed to get back in the game, or if, if they can still find a way to let go of it. Well, it's going to really give Navi that that breath of fresh air that they needed because look at the state of the economy now for Gambit. 2,000 across the board, not a lot of money to play with. So you would think this is going to be a hard eco coming in from Gambit, allowing for Navi to farm up and build a little bit of a bank, a little bit of a cushion. And from there on out, then, Navi, you're, you should be in a situation, in a mood like you're, you're ready to fight. Boomich going for the MP9 yeah. as well. So let's see if he can get in a position to farm. He's only got three kills so far this game. Oof. Real rough, uh, rough uh, performance here from Boomich, Still. especially after overpass where he was top bragging. Yeah, wow. Three kills, you're right. Um, that's kind of hard to explain. I mean, sure, it's a different map, but that's a bit of a that's a bit of a drop off, isn't it, for Boomich? Maybe he just spent. All his energy, all his uh, enthusiasm on that first map. Well, it's a rough one considering uh, he had such a strong performance on the first map of this series. And then we had to have that break, that extended break. I think that, I mean, it kind of slowed things down, took the steam out. Tough, uh, tough turn of events there for Navi. But, uh, there's Electronic farming. Takes down Inters, who had uh, managed to push up aggressively. Hey, the double drop into uh, Pop. Wow. All right. Uh, Boomich uh, continues to struggle. <laughs> yeah, uh, some some poor soul somewhere picked up Boomich for cheap for their fantasy team, and they're just they're not loving it. Um, <laughs> oh, Perfecto has got simple with him for some backup. Yeah, this could be oh. a brilliant grenade. It's gonna land right up. Good bye. Double kill for Perfecto, and make it a triple. Why don't you? Picking up another one with the Galil. That that's. That's got to feel great. Double nade. Depends who you ask, Anders. Depends who you ask. Yeah, it's true. You don't want to be the recipient of it. <laughs> but, uh... oh, those, those guys are just like that timing. Why do we have that timing? And Shiro trying to do the best he can with the Deagle. But with 10 seconds left, he needs to run and die. And if I was Navi right now, I wouldn't show. And I wouldn't let him kill himself either. Six seconds, five seconds. Don't kill yeah. him. Oh, oh, yeah, simple. I love it. Well played. Wow. There you go. That's how it's done. Yeah. Some real rat counter strike coming up. We love that, though. It's a, a medicine it's Hulk. That's um, a counter strike. <laughs> listen, um, there should be if what, what if they added a feature similar whereby you could throw yourself on a grenade to save your teammates so you could try and limit oh. the double needs. If you're quick enough, like instant yeah. reaction. Like go go prone on the grenade. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder. It's interesting now too. I wonder if you would take more damage if you well hold on, we'll get to that because this is good. this is just gonna be a slaughter that or it should be. Yep, yeah. there we go. Dropping it, and there's the last dude. He is almost in it for the ace. Well, there we go. From a double nade and a triple kill into an actual ace. Say defecto one more time, I dare you. He's at 23 and 13. Uh, uh, yeah. Eco Cobra. Just farming. And these guys, I mean, they've got money on Navi's side now. They've got that cushion. That's exactly how these two rounds are supposed to go with these Ecos. A lot of room to breathe now for Navi. And we're looking at Gambit. They, they won the pistol. And then they've lost the last three rounds. So... Gambit now looking to turn things around here. They've played it patiently. Now it's time to wake up and get the job done. Oh, big chance there for Simple. He was trying to catch them as they were just shooting down the sidewalk. 
They're kind of lucky to be alive. I actually can't believe he didn't get that kill almost immediately. So, chance now. I mean, it's almost tied up. It's 9 to 10. And Gambit youngsters need to get back in the mix. They've just lost three in a row. This time it's Boomish pushed up into A main. Really playing the meta right now, getting aggressive A main on that CT side, get, gathering that information. So it is going to be an A split after all, except that now, well, Axel is going to have an extra angle to worry about. You're going to have to worry about A main, which is going to be very frustrating. But they're pushing through Ivy now here, Gambit, and this is going to be that crunch onto this A site. Boomage hears the footsteps. Four players here for Navi. They're going to be ready for it. Flamey gets the body shots. Where's the follow-up? The spacing needs to tighten up here for Gambit. Ooh, and that was actually simple helping out, taking down the Fanny. Otherwise, maybe Flamey would have been run down. Uh, I mean, that scout is not going to be that much stopping power, but he steals an AK-47 and takes down Shiro. So, I don't know, kind of an interesting potential there. If they would have had, you know, that Ivy push work, then they could have met up from CT spawn to help out the B plant here. But because it all went down, then... Now we can guess where the rest is coming, and this should absolutely be winning this 2 on 5. Although Axile will pick up one kill and the second one headshot there. He's gonna continue. What an amazing triple he sprays down the trying. Oh. He's ready for the back. He actually had the angle. But Boomage comes in, finally fighting a fourth kill. And that's enough to win the round. My god, he nearly did it. He nearly did it one versus five. Oh. He knew it too! He knew it too! Anders, he ran out of bullets! It's so unfair! Oh man, that would have been glorious. That would have been like the Chris J, you know? Oh, you thought this was uh, the only time? No, nah, man. So good. And that was so expensive for Na'Vi, man. They did not want to spend that money. Now they're going to have to spend all that bank and they're putting it into a double AWP setup as well. So they're spending so much money this round, Navi, when really it should have been nice and clean. They should have kept extending their lead. But now we're tied up 10 to 10. And because of that bomb plant, Gambit, they've got money to buy. And look at this, Shiro going with the Krieg. Interesting. Oh, that's a rarity these days. They want to try and see if they can hit the back door again. And this timing is a really awkward spot. Nice timing, peeking from both sides. I think he knew. Simple back here. Very dangerous to jump up here with the AWP, but he'll find a free kill on the Fanny. And now he's just pushing forward. He could get a second one. Will indeed do that big double, a triple as well as he takes down Exile. And that leaves Supra and Inters. And just Inters now in pretty much unwinnable position. Simple with a quad kill. Man, that is that's some classic simple round. It just comes in and breaks the whole team apart. And now Navi are in the lead. Yeah, we're starting to see Navi hit their stride here, and we're starting to see Gambit make some mistakes. Because um, that was the bomb getting pinned down on first train, and then Nefani gets shot in the back because his teammate is telling him, hey, I dropped the bomb on the train. But then his teammate, I forget who it was who actually had an exile, but uh, his teammate then goes onto the train himself anyway. And so, his, you know, Nefani didn't need to turn away. Maybe he doesn't die to Simple in that scenario. And maybe we're looking at a different situation because Simple isn't able to kill three. So, some tough uh, some tough breaks here for Gambit right now. Unbelievable that Boomer survives. Two HP. Get out of here. <laughs> yeah, but what is he going to do with that health, though? I mean, I'm shocked that he's still over by Pop Dog. That's the most grenadable position on the entire map. Uh, he's fallen back now. He's decided, you know what, it's not really worth it. But um, he's going to have a hard time finding a spot. Maybe, yeah, maybe go up in the sniper spot. That's a good idea, Boomage. I like this. It's not a bad spot. This is looking like the Ivy Pinch again. Super there to make some noise on the B side. Massive nade just dunked him. But, uh... Trying to draw some attention towards inner. Woo! There we go. Axile hits one. Looking for the follow-up. Oh, spacing isn't quite there. Yeah. Frustrating turn of events. Trying to stay relevant over on the other side. He'll help out a little bit. He's in the corner and he's finally getting it going down, but it's way, way too late. Shiro in a one versus three. Picked up an AWB. He could try and do some damage. That would be, you know, again, everything all counts, even if Navi have so many to work with. You could try and uh, and just be annoying at this point in time. I like the movement so far. He's he's doing his best to juke them out and fight, force them into some sort of fight here. But oh, and he's gonna throw away the orb. Good idea. He knew he had no chance to live. 
Okay. Well, let's see. 10 to 12, Navi in the lead, CT side. Money is now a go for Gambit, so Shiro can have his off back. Hmm. Trying to think where, because um, right now we've seen a lot of action, Ivy. I'm trying to think where you could go for some aggressive kind of peak here with this AWP if you're Gambit. Where Simple's already got the eye on main, so that's covered. The anti rush nades are going in here heavy from Navi, dealing a bit of damage, but there we go. Flashes into the outside. Very quick try at taking over the outside sight here from Gambit, but Flamey through the smoke is going to drop inters, and they are just locking this down, Navi. They have fully hit their stride. Yeah, this is such a powerful start. They've got four people out here. Only now Perfecto is going back to check and make sure that this isn't some sort of a weird fake, but it's not. Shiro will come up with a kill, but that might be just too late to bring this back. Three versus two. They have a lot of time, though. So, I mean, yeah, if they find the kills, Shiro continuing. Now it's a two on two. But Navi also giving them these fights. And again, it's way before the bomb plant. Navi being maybe a bit too aggressive. And better yet, that's Shiro backing off with a bomb. So 50 seconds on the clock. And now Navi, they don't know. Are they sticking A? Is this going to rotate B? I do like that the two players from Navi are sticking together, though. So that puts them in a trade frag sort of scenario. Oh, don't split up. And then you could just try and retake together. But instead, now simple. He's rotated inner. He's going to try and hold this, it looks like. But he's got to be worried about CT spawn. So he's clearing out CT spawn. He's getting that information. And again, he's going to be doubling up here with Perfecto. But if Navi stick together, then they can work together here yeah. to retake this site. And so I would like to see that here from Navi. And it's looking like that's how it's going to play out. And a good call from uh, from the youngsters as well. They're going to get a bomb plant. They use the grenades to make sure they're not going to get attacked while they're doing it. And now they can reposition themselves. And now we have kits, but no smokes. So it's not going to be completely easy to get past this orb of Shiro. And he's taking it up to the high ground. He also can't get smoked or Molotov away from that position. It's all set up rather nicely here for the T side to try and see if they can pick up finally a round after having lost six in a row. A lot is on this 2 on 2 and they've already done a lot to get back into this position at all. Nefane going to be taken on simple, no problem, and uh, almost uh, another kill there. Perfecto out in the open. He's not going to get killed the first time around, but he wishes he had anything to fight this with. And Shiro just playing this one so smartly. Even if he goes down at the end, he absolutely knew what he was doing there. 11 to 12. Oh, do they save the op? Perfecto, he finds it. So simple will get his AWP back in the next round. Whereas, uh, yeah, it's going to be an expensive buy here. And Afani has to spend uh, a lot of money on that AWP for Shiro, seeing as how he didn't survive it. But still, I think at that point, Gambit are perfectly happy. They got 11 rounds on the board. They finally, finally put a halt. Six rounds in a row for Navi. So it's 12 to 11. Navi's still in the lead, but now Gambit can at least say, hey, okay, we, we can put rounds on the board here, fellas. We can get that bomb planted and we can win. Well, I mean, that uh, was even a, a little bit. That was even a round, wasn't it, where they lost the early fight, right? They they lost two people right off the bat in that one and had to fight their way back three on five. So, not a bad sign if you could do that. I think maybe a wake up call for Navi not to keep fighting in in those scenarios. This time they're going to be going to the B bomb site, and Perfecto and Simple have a bit of a setup. I think Simple is going to be the first point of contact, and then Perfecto is going to swing. Uh, to peak right afterwards, so kind of a classic setup here. Ooh, let's see it all together now. Do they just peak all together upper? Same Wait, time. Well, oh, there's Perfecto. He's a dead man. Simple backed off. But now that's going to open it up, and Nefani in the meantime takes down Flamey on that A site. Electronic at range will take that back, but it's still... Three players moving out onto B, and they, they haven't, they don't know where Simple is. Simple no. is just, well, taking that fight. He'd actually run forward, and he saw some, one of them jump down. I, I can't believe the timing of it. They decide to give it up. Perfecto goes to check, and he's like, oh, dear, the entire team is right here. And Simple just can't get back in time to do, I mean, he, get, he got the kill, but it doesn't even matter. That's so ridiculous. Boomage and Electronic, two on three, and it is about to be tied up here. It's about to be 12 to 12. Boomage, I don't know why he's sneaking in. He's going to be smoked into the fight. He only gets the one kill, but even if he would have got two, I don't think they could have... I mean, it would have taken them a couple of more seconds, surely, to 
to find the last one, so I feel like that was kind of needless. Save the guns. Ooh, hero. Nope, not happening, buddy. No AWP to save either. That was the only op. Yep, super checking, but... Uh, Man, that was expensive. Again, you're not going to have the op for Shiro, who's dropping 20 kills right now for Gambit. Axile up there with 22 as well. Those two are going ham. But it's perfecto for Na'Vi right now. 27 frags on the board. The guy is going... Well, he's just doing work right now. I mean, I don't think it's so much about uh, Defecto right now as uh, him living up to his name. No, Perfecto's having a great game. Electronic is right behind him. Simple, you saw him get... I mean, the, the three of them should be able to win this map right now, even if Shiro and Axile are doing a lot to uh, to try and prevent it. That's a that's a deadly combo. So, um, yeah, I mean, that they're, they're taking steps in the right direction. They did just lose two in a row, Navi. So that's uh, felt in their economy. Got to be careful about that. Hmm. I'm seeing Keck W's coming out from uh from uh that last one. So um Simple almost getting a double, but not quite. There's gonna be a quick trade and Axile will go down to electronic as well. Three versus four. Inter's hiding inside a lobby and simple looking to fight anyone that he can. He's he's I think he's done the feel it. He's started to really warm up in this game. That's incredibly bad news for Gambit Youngsters Electronic. Just missed the fact that Inter's made it past there, but he's going to go check main. This is a great play for Electronic. He's hearing the footsteps. And you can see the rotation now. Simple has rotated over to the inner site to back up Perfecto. You even have Flamey starting to make his way closer and closer to Connector. This is going to wind up on B, and Gambit are going to run right into a brick wall. Along with a flank coming in here from Electronic, the timing could be impeccable for Electronic. But you already have Simple in position holding the line. I mean, they could smoke off the sidewalk, so the Fanny could put down a smoke to make, you know, Simple's life a little bit more tricky. That would be a good beginning. Then they can roll us off the site. There's a chance here, but, <clears throat> but not a big one. They're in a little bit of trouble. Perfecto falling back. No smoke against Simple, and that just results in instant death. A double kill Perfecto landing him at 29 kills. So that is super respectable. And Navi back in the mix now. 13 to 12. You know, uh, I might just bring a phone. Is there a, is there a way to put the, the Twitch app phone on just Twitch chat for future events? Oh. So I'm like, can we just do that? Uh, good question. Do you have it on your phone right now or your second monitor the chat? Second, third monitor, in fact. I've got three of them now. Whoa, okay. You're stepping up. <laughs> Are you still rolling that beast PC, the Intel PC? It's been operated a little bit since. There's some some changes to it. Oh, and they're getting slaughtered in this round. Yeah, it has been it has been changed around, but um. Yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah. But still... I mean, three monitors. I was kind of tempted. I was also tempted to put a TV on the wall just for casting. You know, like just for this sort of scenario where you could have the match oh. on the TV instead. That's a good That's, idea. Well, uh, you know what? I just I just got a new TV because our old one died. I just bought the I just got the cheapest 65 inch TV that I could find, which is yeah. shockingly cheap. Like I haven't bought a TV in 10 years or something, so I was shocked. I was like, why? It, I'm sure it's a really bad television for anyone who's into that, but I just don't care. Wow. I mean, what are you gonna do? Just uh, does it play cartoons for the kids? That's, that's what uh, that's main. That's mainly what it's going to be used for, and I'm sure one day so, one of them will throw something at it, and it'll die anyway. So I was just like, you know what? <laughs> I just went on the nearest website, sorted by cheapest, you know, <laughs> and then that was it. Here we go. You got the job done. Perfect. I, well played. I'm trying to make things less difficult in my life, no more, you know. <laughs> As are we all. <laughs> uh, you know who's having some difficulty right now? It's Gambit. 14 to 12, Navi yeah. in the lead. Still a massive bank on Navi's side as well. And so this is just Gambit. They need to get their grind on. As Navi have certainly developed uh, some room to maneuver with here in this second half. They're looking much better. And I need to check, actually, what is our third map in this series if it goes the Just distance? two, I believe. Dust two, okay. Yeah, you would be <laughs> correct. Dust two. 
So that's interesting. People in chat are saying the Krieg is a Valorant gun, which just cracks me up. That's a good, good stuff, guys. Um, Inters gets taken down, flaming on top, and simple. Oh, that's a nice shot. Dropping the fatty. Ready as well as Perfecto. He's done a lot of damage, and he'll drop Axile. So this is an almost perfect defense for now. Simple will go down eventually, but yeah, there's nothing you could do. It just feels like Perfecto cannot be stopped at the moment. He's 31 kills. That is super impressive. And Shiro, in a one versus three, and the bomb is so far away that it cannot be done. Uh, so it's going to be 15 rounds for Navi. Oh, oh. Yeah, and this is definitely looking like Navi have now hit their stride. And considering we shouldn't have a very long break between the second map and the third map, this is going to be very tough now in Gambit. Because Navi, they're starting to get the lockdown. They're probably starting to feel it. Boomich, he's starting to wake up. He's doubled his frags. He's up to eight kills now, you know? So it's like, we're, we're, we're getting there for Navi. This is all off the back of Perfecto for now. 31 frags on his side, so... He has definitely stepped up in a big way here for Navi, but uh, going into Dust 2, I think this bodes very well for the yellow and black. And well, now what do we do here? Let's see if you're Gambit. I mean, default again? It's looking like. I mean, they proved to us already they could win a couple of rounds in a row, but that's that's a that's three rounds ago and navi since then have survived with plenty of money in the bank they've had a pretty good run of it i don't know it's it's only been three rounds in the second half and one of them was the pistol rounds actually it's not looking too good gambit it's sort of trending in the wrong direction electronic is in main he's got boomage there with him this is an incredibly powerful setup and um, i don't know they need to clear out main somehow otherwise i don't think this will work well you can start by flashing your teammate not a bad idea. And, ooh, Boomich. Are you kidding me? <laughs> oh, he's going to stay safe. He'll burn a little bit, but he put another flashbang in there just to try and make it tricky. A lot of wall banging going on and absolutely, well, not enough damage for it. Now we are down to 35 seconds. This is a real problem, Semler. Yeah, they, they really don't have much room to maneuver with now, Gambit. They have to kind of commit to this A site. 28 seconds. They're going to have to bully their way in. And so that's Inter's finding Boobich. Electronic decides to swing. He goes down. Yeah. We're into a three on three all of a sudden. Simple's in position, though. He's got eyes on main, and he's going to make it to the train as well. This is going to be big now. He could lay waste. Seconds. Yep. Boom. Spots it, drops the bomb, and that's got to be it. Yeah. There is absolutely no time. Flamey comes in with a couple of kills at the end, and it's 16 to 12. As Navi take the second map and put us on to a third one. Here's the real deal, though, Samler. I'm sure that does too. It destroys the new one, right?